Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And today we're part two from last week's episode. A lot of positive response on that. And with me today is John Camp from Wagner's Market. And we're at the actual retail side. So John, thanks for letting us come here today and see where all our vegetables actually end up for sale. So John, um, what's your role here? Well, my role is to uh, take care of everything that uh, comes in and uh, take care of all the people that come in. Well, John, Wagner's Market has been around for a while. What, what exactly do you sell here? So in the springtime, we start out with uh, plants for vegetable plants and flowers, uh, hanging baskets. We sell lots of hanging baskets here in the spring. And then we venture into, um, in the right now we're uh, in the vegetable season, the start of it. Um, so we have beets, radishes, kohlrabi, um, tomatoes will start pretty quick. We have sweet corn um, right now and uh, cucumbers are uh, progressing nicely. Um, and, uh, and now we have zinnias and we also have mums started, which is a little bit earlier than normal. Um, and right now for, uh, the, we call it yard art. Um, we have all kinds of spinners. We have, uh, we have lighthouses, we have windmills, we have buckboards and all that kind of stuff like that from a, a place. And we also have some carvings from a local carver that uh, drops their stuff off and uh, we sell it, help try to sell it for them. And uh, we also have uh, lots of uh, metal stuff that uh, a local place uh, drops their stuff off and we try to sell it for them too. So definitely you should come here for all the local crafts and of course vegetables that, Absolutely. that you sell. Absolutely. And that, that's, that's wonderful, keeping it local with that. So John, what, what is the big seller right now? Right now it's gonna be sweet corn. Sweet corn's coming yep. in? Sweet yes. corn's come, came, started on Saturday, Friday, Saturday morning and sweet corn will be the biggest seller right now. Well John as we found out from last weekend that you have a, a pretty significant customer base who are your typical customers here at Wagner's Market? Uh, we have a lot of repeat customers that are local they come in every every few days to pick up some fresh produce from us and then we also have a lot of travelers that go up north uh, you know during the week or on the weekend they all stop in and grab, and grab all the goodies that they need for their weekend. Yep, so the location, 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 a absolutely. definitely your absolutely. Right, prime location for that. Well, John, you said uh, we're in the peak um, sweet corn market right now. What should we expect from Wagner's Market coming, coming up in this fall? Okay, so in a month or so, we'll start with the wagon loads of cabbage. Mm -hmm. We will have apples from Door County. We'll also have uh, squash, pumpkins, and then all our fall pots will start to come for uh, all our patio pots. Okay, wonderful, and, and definitely the wagon loads of cabbage is a sight to see because they come in and they, they leave right away too. Absolutely, we have people actually standing in front of the cabbage wagon taking pictures of them in front of the cabbage wagon. Right. Well John, thanks for letting us come and actually look at what Wagner's Market actually is. It is a, a local you know, landmark here and appreciate the time you spent with us. Thanks for having me on. So, for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.